the bigger problem with this generation and with this country, you're gonna think that I'm busting Obama's balls. I'm not because I don't see anything wrong with him changing the laws so that you could keep your kid on your insurance until they're 26. But somehow keep your kid on your insurance until they're 26 translated into a generation of let your kids not grow up and set in your basement and be adults that are still acting like kids that don't want to grow up because they've got it dicked. They're still living off of their parents' hard work, but they're adults now. And I'm like, that's the problem. I'm seeing too much of that in our society. And this was just a perfect representation of it. We talked about this a little bit, the analogy of when we were all taught to swim. What was our parents' desire when, when they were teaching us to swim? To teach us a skill? Well, debatably, I was an unwanted child, so they could have been there trying to drown me, but I think they did cough <laughs> me in. We go, it was a swim lesson, and that was, that was the story I got. I'm afraid of water, I don't swim. I think it's fucking crazy. I don't understand why people want to go underwater, send me to space. So your parents never taught you how to swim? Uh, I have severe panic attacks. I don't get like deep in water, I don't do none of that shit. Okay, well, let me, let me tell you. I love, I love. Basic instinct, your parents teach you how to swim. One, because most people do like the water in general, but it's a skill set for survival. You teach your kids how to swim. That's where the whole saying comes, sink or swim. Too many parents are enabling their kids and they're not actually teaching them how to swim. They're enabling them to not swim while they're in the water of adulthood. That's the, that's the point that I'm getting to.